Hi folks, this is Danny at Bradley James Classics and today's classic is a great opportunity to buy a little Fiat X19 that's had rather a lot of money spent on it and then went on to be famous. So um, let's get this bit out of the way now. This car you will recognise from the Amazon uh, TV show um, The Grand Tour and it was used uh, in filming up in Scotland and it was due to take part in a, uh, a Grand Tour of Scotland however for those of you who watch the show you'll probably remember they ended up taking a shortcut for fear of the cars not making it which doesn't say much for the Italian engineering that was uh, being showcased in the show let's have a little look inside um, so the car itself was bought for quite a lot of money because it was up together and working very well. Um, so that's the guy who uh, had this show. Um, so I don't know for sure if this was a something that was uh, actually used as a prop, but it's certainly a little indicator that the car's got a bit of a interest in TV history so when you get underneath this car um, it has so many new components the car had been fully rebuilt it had been fully resprayed and it had actually been um, put together uh, very lovingly and and restored and it was bought in that condition and very little other than being used for filming and then being dropped off into a warehouse of cars that are used in the show has this car been now I've just propped that number plate back on the back but you can see it's a V reg so that's probably a 1980 you can have a look at the condition of the car as I move around it quicker that's a pretty much near perfect rear bumper um, this is a bit of wet day so I'm afraid you're not seeing the paperwork um, paperwork the bodywork in great order but this rear panel does show scratches and damage to the paintwork. I mean, it's been to Helen back when it does a Top Gear, sh um, a top, um, sorry, a Grand Tour show. Freudian slip. I seem to remember that being caused in the filming. So it's probably easier for me to tell you that the whole car would benefit from being painted if you were to look to return it back to perfect condition. However. This is a project car. Uh, the wheels look excellent, by the way. Now, during the filming, one of the pro drivers uh, managed to cook it. So, sadly, you're gonna need to fit a head gasket, and that's known. Um, and anything else, I'm afraid, is gonna have to come down to your own judgment when the car is inspected before you decide to put it back together. So the interior, is dirty but certainly highly serviceable in fact those seats with a good clean would look pretty pretty bad that looks to be its original um, steering wheel that's a, a sharp period radio cassette with a built-in graphic equalizer from the 1980s very in keeping and the dash and all the um, dials look to be in good order and everything appears to work a great gear stick in these um yeah this is a very much a, a car that's uh, crying out to have the work spent on it now those of you that know are going to be aware that this is a removable roof section uh, and indeed going back to that show the roof was removed and subsequently virtually broken in half so that is a load of gaffer tape holding it together a very unsophisticated looking t-top is what it looks like at the moment so stepping back again I'm gonna have a walk around the car uh, the car's turning over freely the car does start and run perfectly well however uh, it will pressurize uh, and it will require that head gasket so folks this is a opportunity for a project it's in stock now and it can be delivered anywhere in the UK for a competitive price um, I guess I better touch on the mileage of it as well 
so it is displaying let's have a look 59,000 miles but the trouble is it's got one of those short dials so we never know if it's 59 159 or 559 however it could well be from looking at the condition of the interior it could be 59 but obviously we need to be careful and we're only ever making assumptions but yeah a final look around the car they've chosen a very good color for it it could be one of those cars that you could potentially just mop the bodywork touch up the worst bits and drive as is and you would have a inexpensive x19 rolling restoration rolling rest recommissioning project you could completely take it to pieces and put it back together to restore it to its former glory uh, and what a talking point because because of the popularity of the grand tour this is always going to be a uh, car that's going to go down in TV history so that does give some provenance to the car because it's always going to have that in its history it makes it very interesting but these are very very rewarding cars to drive they're well loved the fact that this is sound it's not rusty underneath it's been fully painted underneath it's been fully recommissioned it had been on the road and it, as I say it had been in uh, very good order prior to the TV show buying it and using it so a great opportunity for someone well that's nearly seven minutes of a walk around video um, I hope this is going to be something which uh, is going to be of interest to you don't think that it's going to be a quick uh, fettle for ten minutes to get this back to its former glory you are looking at spending a bit of time on the bodywork working out the head gasket issue, getting that roof repaired, and then you're not really far off having a very usable little Italian classic sports car that you just don't see very many of anymore. Well, folks, it's Danny at Bradley James Classics signing off, and uh, thank you for your interest.